Thank you very much, uh, all of you, for joining. My name is uh, Smriti Panyapa. I work for Carnet as an innovation project manager. Carnet is a partner behind, one of the partners behind the ULM Plaza Accelerator program, which is a program we're going to explain to you today. And how are we going to do this? Uh, we created the following agenda for the session. First, we're going to have uh, Raul Feliu from EIT Urban Mobility presenting EIT Urban Mobility and Impact Ventures. Good morning, Raul. Thank you so much for joining. Then after Raul, we're going to have uh, Widdenson Santalni presenting uh, the UAM Plaza Accelerator Program. Good morning, Widdenson. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you, Sergio. Yeah. After him, we're going to have uh, Juan Carlos Letegui from Ferrovial. Uh, presenting the program's evaluation and selection process. After, good morning, Juan Carlos. After him, we're gonna do a short demonstration on how to apply to the program. And then we're gonna have a round table with our alumni. Today, we have uh, Rafael Dumont, uh, that's his who's here uh, joining us. Uh, good morning, Rafael, thank you for joining. We're gonna have uh, Eduard Gomez from Aldora Tech. Uh, and Last, we're going to have H2 Drone Energy, Antonio Gonzalez. Thank you for joining us. And last, to finish the session, we left 10 minutes for all your questions. So let's start with uh, Raul Feliu. Uh, Raul, please, uh, would you be so kind to introduce yourself, uh, your organization, and start presenting whenever you're ready? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, thank you very much, Sergi. Um, my name is Raul Faliu, and I'm the programs manager at EIT Urban Mobility within the unit of Impact Ventures. So if that's okay, I prepared a, a basic presentation that I will be sharing right now. Now you should see the presentation and hopefully now the presentation mode. Does it work? No, nope. I can't. We don't see you it yet. You cannot see that. Oh, wait, share. Now. Yeah, right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so as said, uh, I'm going to do a quick presentation about uh, EIT Urban Mobility and also Impact Ventures, which is the uh, unit uh, behind this accelerator program. Um, basically, just for those of you who doesn't know what the European Institute for Urban Mobility uh, is therefore um, basically mobility in cities. Uh, uh, the statement here needs to be changed to fight the climate emergency. So we're basically responding to to a need with our activities. Uh, uh, the long term sustainability of the way we move is uh, nowadays jeopardized uh, with um, a lot of implications in uh, uh, climate metrics. For example, twenty three percent of the European greenhouse gases are produced by transport and vehicles being the biggest cause of air pollution that we have in our cities. Also, uh, by the way, we have designed our public spaces. Uh, nowadays, we have 50% of our public space in cities taken by roads. So this follows a transport-centric approach. Um, also, in terms of safety, for example, uh, two out of three uh, road accidents happen in cities. And there are also some Bleeding numbers when uh, we talk about uh, commuting, for example, we spend about one year of our, of our lives uh, commuting. And if we talk about the economical aspects, there are about one th 130 billion euros uh, lost every year due to congestion. So this is quite our, our mission to, to change the way uh, transportation and mobility uh, in our cities works today. And how do we do this? We have um, uh, a network of partners uh, and we create ecosystems at the European, national and city level and we do uh, connections, we match and connect uh, these ecosystems with talent, basically the initiatives uh, from our academy department. We also take innovations to the market, yeah, those are initiatives led by our departments of innovation and market development and we also support startups to scale, uh, for example, with the programs that we have within IMPA Ventures and being Urban A Mobility Plus Accelerator, one of them. And all of this, why do we do it? We do it to have more livable urban spaces. <clears throat> and as I said, we are the largest European innovation community for urban mobility, gathering these 300 partners that I was talking before. 
And we have different type of organizations. So 40 cities, more, more than 40 cities actually, uh, national governments, EU institutions, universities, students, research institutes, NGOs, and uh, for the accelerator programs and most of the activities that we have at, the, at uh, Impact Ventures, large enterprises, SMEs, and startups. And we focus on mainly four areas, which is the Match and Connect I was referring to before, uh, taking the talent to business, so innovations to market, and startups to scale. With Match and Connect, we, ba we basically connect um, private and public sectors, um, partners uh, to access finance, talent, uh, and knowledge. With talent to business, we basically foster entrepreneurship through practical learning, for example, with the master courses that we have at the Academy. Uh, with the innovation to market activities, uh, I can refer to the pilot uh, opportunities that we offer not only to startups, but SMEs and also industry players uh, to take new solutions around urban mobility in our cities. And for the startups to scale, again, we have the uh, accelerator programs and also, for example, the investment activities or the growth lab services uh, within the largest urban mobility community that we have nowadays in Europe. And here are some basic numbers with the Match and Connect. We already had more than 15,000 visitors uh, to Tomorrow Mobility, which is a flagship event of EATU, Urban Mobility. We had more than 150 solutions showcased in the digital platform being the marketplace. We have trained more than 15,000 professionals now with the Competence Hub, which is equivalent to Academy. And we've had uh, more than 950,000 views of uh, our web channels, our web TV, sorry. Uh, if we talk about innovations to market, we have supported more than 70 innovation projects since 2020. And we have launched, uh, now it's more than 23, but let's stick with this number by the closure of 2022, which is 23 solutions launched to the market. And with the startups to scale, to scale. so basically we have had... And now it's over 200 uh, startups supported and 77 million of investment raised by our equity startups. So this is basically the four blocks and this is the way we organize ourselves. Uh, we work in five different hubs uh, being South, North, West, East and Central Geographical Division. And we have one headquarter for each one of our hubs. And of course we also include here uh, the RIS regional innovation scheme countries, uh, which are countries with an index, with an innovation index um, below the average that we have in Europe. And we also conduct special activities within these regions to foster specifically innovation. And what do we do at Impact Ventures, which is the unit that um, is behind this accelerator program, for example? We basically drive connections and mobilize, mobilize investments. And if I get back to the um, four core activities, we tackle three of them at Impact Ventures. We provide the support and funding opportunities to mobility startups. We invest in impactful ventures uh, with a clear focus on sustainable development goals. And we also provide these connections with the largest pan-European mobility ecosystem. What about our team? Of course, this would not it would not be possible to gather all these activities uh, to support startups, to invest in startups without a team dedicated to it. Uh, first of all, this is our visible head for the direction of Impact Ventures. We have um, an investment arm uh, led by my colleague Pablo Garrido, and we recently incorporated uh, Catarina Andres, which is the impact officer, it's uh, worth noting that um, we're trying to, to get uh, metrics about the contribution that startups provide. So not staying in the fluffy field, but putting numbers in the CO2 reduction, number of jobs created, funds raised by the startups supported in our programs, et cetera. We have also the programs and services block. Uh, myself uh, here for the support to the accelerators and scale-up program. We have the support services, which is basically how to liaise internally uh, with administration and the deal flow team, uh, basically the investment and portfolio managers taking care of the equity portfolio that we have and also to create uh, this deal flow to our accelerator programs, scale up program and investment opportunities. Uh, this is the location of each one of the uh, investment and portfolio managers. 
uh, around our five hubs, and we also count on external advisors since the beginning of our journey to, for example, uh, do evaluations or participate in the uh, investment uh, uh, investment committees that we, we held for every investment call. And what is the startup journey that we first see uh, within Impa Ventures? So first we have the acceleration block, which gathers startups from TRL4 to TRL6, actually, uh, uh, TRL6, 7. Uh, and then we have the scale-up program, which tackles the more mature startups, offering also a six-month intensive program for TRL7 to TRL9 uh, solutions in the mobility sector. And this block, again, is part of the programs block. In parallel to this, we have the investment call. So we provide investment opportunities uh, all through the year. We have three different internal cutoff days this, this time, and we have tickets. Uh, just, uh, just to mention one of the main aspects of the investment thesis, going for fifth, from 50 to 150k, uh, to 500k, sorry. And in parallel to this, we also provide services via the growth lab that I mentioned before, which is the largest uh, pan-European community for entrepreneurs around Uber mobility. And within the programs accelerators, actually, we have seven this year. Uh, of course, the U of N Mobility is the one focusing our attention and common offering for all the programs is the 30K worth of support services, the six months of program, 2.5K uh, for tickets to access to more mobility or any other event uh, that is relevant for the action of the accelerator program. And also, as referred before, uh, we aim to conduct an impact assessment first because of awareness of the startups participating in our programs and also to have some metrics behind the uh, actual impact that we can provide with the program. <clears throat> Again, today, uh, focus on Urban Air Mobility Plus Accelerator, uh, Urban Air Mobility being one of the, to the topics for the future of mobility in our cities. Uh, I recently attended the Amsterdam Drone Week. Uh, and it was uh, quite insightful in terms of implications for citizens. Uh, what does the industry or the cities uh, expect out from it? So it's um, quite a fuss. Uh, there's quite a fuss around even mobility, and I welcome a lot um, this accelerator. And I'm very looking forward to to see which type of startups applications we we can gather at the program. Uh, just some quick references to the eligibility. You know, we're looking for companies with at least two full-time employees, uh, with the startup being registered in EU or EU associated countries after uh, 31st December 2012, with the TRL level going from four to six, as I said before. And of course, there has to be a fit with the them thematic scope. Final reminder on the call, which is currently open until the 21st of, of April. Uh, you have the link at the uh, web page for the Urban Air Mobility Plus Accelerator, and also I, I attach it over here. And that's about um, my intervention, Sergi. So I give the word back to you. Thank you very much. So, um, slideshow. And let me see if I can close it. Stop sharing. Okay. I want to remind the audience in the meantime that they can put their questions in the chat and then we'll read them at the end of the session and answer. Yeah. Uh, can, can I go now, Sajid? Yes. Uh, exactly. Next is uh, Whittington Santalni from Irish Green Valley. He's going to be presenting to us the program offering in detail. Go ahead, uh, Whittington, share your screen, uh, introduce yourself in your comments. Uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, good morning, everyone, and thanks um, for again for being here with this um, with us uh, this early morning. Um, I'm Wilbenson Santalmi. I'm startup project manager at Aerospace Valley. I'm in charge of UAM startups in the UAM Plaza Accelerator Program. Um, my presentation consists in consists in presenting you. Uh, our acceleration program uh, that UA, UAM Plaza Accelerator offers for free. I mean, I just want to remind you once again that it is completely free. 
uh, you will get information about, you know, the kind of UM startups that we would like to have this year. Uh, the startup that were pop, that were present uh, last year, like Aldora Tech, uh, for instance, the partners of the of this accelerator program who are working hard to set it up, like Carnet, Ferrovial, and us, Aerospace Valley, and Toulouse Metropole, and some details uh, about the program. Uh, for instance, what you will get if you apply, and also the timeline. So I will speak about the program at first. And to start off, what I can say is the UAM Plaza Accelerator Program is co-funded by EIT Urban Mobility. We are looking for the 10 best and most promising emerging companies in the field of urban air mobility with the objective of providing them with support to take their business to the next, le to the, to the next level. And in order for them to become a crucial part of the future, of the future of transportation, uh, like uh, Raoul Feliu uh, said it before. Um, uh, last year, we had uh, 10 startups. We selected 10, the 10 best startups. Uh, now, here you can see that uh, they were uh, in different field of um, the UAM industry. You know, some were in the drone, drone delivery uh, field, uh, the drone delivery part. Others was an, uh, were in the UAV service and UAV services. In other were in UTM. Uh, for instance, Aldoatec is present today, and also uh, Reflet du Monde, uh, which is a startup um, part of uh, Aerospace Valley uh, a member uh, mem membership. Uh, what I can say next is uh, I would just want to speak about, you know, the, the partners. Uh, as for the partners, I would like to remind you that uh, the partner members of UAM Plaza Accelerator constitute a, a consortium. consortium. Uh, the coordinator, uh, they are not here today, uh, today but uh, they, it, it is Toulouse Metropole. It is a public agency of intercities or intercommunal uh, corporation. Um, to lose uh, that includes uh, Toulouse and surrounding communes, surrounding cities around Toulouse. To put it simply, uh, the purpose of Toulouse Metropole in this program is to coordinate a common urban development project and the planning of their territory. Uh, what is important in the case of Toulouse Metropole is that uh, as Toulouse is a, pure, a pioneer city in the aeronautics industry, and therefore Toulouse wants to continue to attract companies in this field. So UAM uh, startups are, in the, also, are also in the field of you know, aeronautics. About Aerospace Valley, uh, which is uh, the company I work for, uh, which, uh, which is also the company that I represent here today, is uh, what I can say is we are, a Europe, we are Europe's leading competitiveness cluster in the field of aeronautics and, aeronautics and space. We have more than 800 members uh, you among among our members, I can name you know Airbus, Anity, Thales, for instance, and we we have about fifty hundred uh, SMEs among our members, and also between eighty and one hundred startups that are part you know of uh, of Aerospace Valley, uh, and also district to lose uh, within Aerospace Valley uh, provides support to startup members, for instance. Uh, right now, I just want uh, Sergio to say some words about, you know, Carnet and to introduce himself, and then uh, Juan Carlos will do so for himself when he, when he, when he, present, when he presents uh, a fair review. Of course. Uh, thank you, Vincent. So yeah. Carnet is uh, an innovation and research hub uh, focused on the future mobility field. It was funded by Volkswagen Group, Technological University of Catalonia, and SEAT. And we work with startups in mainly two ways. One is uh, we either select a startup with, a, with a, an important innovation uh, to be developed, and we build a consortium along with 14, along with the 14 industrial partners that we have. We select which is the best to work with, and we build the consortium and try to bring European funds to fund that uh, innovation that the startup wants to carry out. And then the other way is as well um, in collaboration many times with uh, EIT, EIT Urban Mobility or, or in Horizon Europe, with Horizon Europe funds. We also build consortiums uh, again with our academic, academic network or industrial network and build consortiums uh, like the one uh, we are representing today with the uh, acceleration program. That's, that's what I wanted to say. 
Okay. Th thank you very much, uh, Sergi. Um, now uh, I want to speak about, you know, what is the program for? Uh, you know, uh, if you have, I, I, I mean, we, we, we want to focus on... Just a second, uh, Juan Carlos, uh, if you could also introduce uh, Ferroviaras as the other yeah. partner. Yeah, yeah, you will introduce in, in, in self when you present Ferrovial. That's what we say. Juan Carlos, you, you want to? Yeah, yeah um, okay. well, okay. I have I have a, a quick presentation after after your presentation, Benson. Uh, I, well, I can give a brief description. In yeah. we are we from Ferrovial. We are a multinational company, and we work in the in the infra sector. Um, we mainly work for for airport and highway infrastructures and and well uh, regarding UEM uh, we are develop, developing from innovation um, the future a uh, vertical net, network so so we are working a, a lot to develop these kind of technologies and we will help you uh, all the startups to to accelerate your companies and to and to work with 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 us to to develop this new technology that that is coming. Okay, uh, thanks thanks again, um, Juan Carlos. Thank you. So I, I was going to say about you know um, what is the program is for. Um, what I want to say uh, clearly is if you have been building or working on such solutions or products, you should apply. Uh, for instance, that includes. Uh, you know, vertiport, urban integration and social acceptance. Uh, you can see um, what is between the brackets. And also vertiport terminal passenger journey processes and systems. Uh, we have, uh, Ferrovial um, will foc we'll focus on, on this uh, criteria also. Uh, and also I can say, uh, if you have solutions in the urban logistics, log logistics field, like network, cargo, drone cargo, simulation, uh, we, we are interested in, in this also uh, as well uh, if you are if you if you are building uh, energy mobility solutions uh, like mobility batteries charging infrastructures uh, we are interested in startups doing such things or building such product projects um, Next, uh, what I want to say, what you will get uh, if you join us, if you're among the selected startups, um, actually you will get workshops on the market and technology validation, you know, business regulations. Uh, I want to add something. Uh, one, one point is, for instance, last year we have we had a, a perfect, you know, very good experts named um, Vasilis Agoridas. Uh, who is the head of EU public co-creation and ecosystem outreach at Airbus. And he is also the chairman of the UAM committee at ASD Europe, uh, which means, uh, which stands for Aerospace Security and Defense Industry Association of Europe. Uh, he, I mean, he, 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 st the startups that were part of the, of the program last year were very impressed by his you know, skills and vision of UAM industry. Uh, and also, um, what I can say, you will also benefit from, you know, connection to global UAM ecosystems and key players. You will be able to meet our partners and investors and also take part in a demo day uh, at, at, uh, at the end and also uh, participate at UAM industry events. Our goal this year is to bring uh, not only experts on topics related to the entire UAM field or UAM ecosystem, but also uh, Aerospace Valley wants to bring in entrepreneurs who are at a more at more advanced stages of the projects for coaching sessions, for example. Uh, so we we are deeply focused on this. About the timeline, uh, what I can hide is that um, uh, uh, for, for and right now we are at the, uh, at the application phase. The thing is uh, between February 20, uh, 20, uh, 20th to April. Uh, 21st, uh, we are waiting. We want we you know startups to apply. Actually, we have a bunch of startups that has uh, that has uh, that had that ha have already applied. Sorry, uh, but as uh, Juan Carlos will speak about, you know, the eligibility criteria. Uh, I mean, I will not tackle this point. But you should be a European startup or or being related to. Uh, be, be, you should be a, a European funded startup, and also um, having a project or a project or a product between. Uh, 
Theatrical Four and Seven. And I also want to talk about, you know, the Welcome Week. For the Welcome Week, we will, well, the Welcome Week will happen on site uh, in Toulouse. Uh, you will benefit from rush workshops on market business strategy, as I said before. Uh, but also on uh, you will benefit from networking sessions in aerospace valley ecosystem uh, you will be visiting toulouse and meeting prominent business figures with toulouse metropolitan representatives and also uh, what i can say is uh, after the welcome week you the rest of the program consists in you know online uh, taking online sessions with collective and uh, individual uh, meetings or sessions on sales insurance regulations fundraising actually this year we want to we want to double and double on you know the fundraising part because we want startups to to raise money to to fund you know the innovation and and so on and at the at the end we will have uh, actually a demo day we should have actually a demo day and uh, that's all for me so if you want um, any other any further information any additional information uh, do not hesitate to reach out to me or to Karzin or to Sergi or or to Juan Carlos thank you very much for having me thank you so much Wilkinson for your presentation. Yeah. And Carlos, uh, are you ready to share your screen? Yep, yeah, I'll do it. No. Juan Carlos will present to us the selection process more in detail, evaluation and selection process. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So, um, to follow uh, my description uh, from before, uh, Ferrovial is a multinational company uh, working mainly in, in infra construction and operation. Um, from Ferrovial Innovation, we, we work with uh, disruptive technologies and, and regarding UEM and AAM, we are developing the future uh, Vertiports network. And in that field, we are we are uh, researching all, all the all the requirements that these installations we have, and we are working with with the main OEMs regarding uh, EV tolls, uh, and as well with 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 startups to develop the the requirements for 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 that that vertiports. Uh, I am Juan Carlos Retegui. I am I work uh, as mobility project manager in in the innovation department uh, in the center of excellence for mobility um, and well uh, going back to the to the program uh, with the eligibility criteria um, we have uh, some requirements that that all the startups that are participating in the program uh, should, should need uh, the first one is is to have two fte's uh, and, and also to be to be registered in, in one of the European Union uh, country or associated ones. And the incorporation date uh, should be uh, after uh, 2012. And uh, as with Benson has been explaining before, uh, the, the startups should, should meet the, the scope of the program that, that, that is Vertiport Uber integration, uh, Vertiport terminal passenger journey processes and systems, urban logistics and energy mobility solutions. So if, if, you're, if your companies are related to these topics, you are, you are all welcome. And so for the eligibility criteria, uh, there will be uh, three different phases. Sorry, I've been disconnected. Yes. Can you hear me now? We can hear you now, yes. Okay, so uh, as I was saying before, uh, there are three different phases to, to select the, the startups for the program. The first one is, is just meeting the requirements that, that are in the, in the application uh, form uh, uh, to meet the scope, the requirements about the FTEs, uh, being part of the European Commission uh, countries. Um, and before that, with that uh, filter, uh, we go to the next phase that, that will be 
um, an admissibility and eligibility check. Uh, so there will be four evaluators, one from the from the EIT uh, and three from from external experts from our consortium, um, and we will e evaluate the. The, the the elements that are in the in the table the the excellence and innovation uh, team structure impact impl and implementation and overall merit uh, the score will be from zero to five and and after after giving these values uh, we will select the the top 15 uh, startups um and after that we have the last phase uh, we will have a, a, light, a live uh, pitch session uh, where, where all the selected startups will have um, a pitch to, to, to describe their, their startups. And, and there will be also uh, four another evaluators, uh, two from the IT and, and two from, from external experts. Um, they will be the well, they, they will set another score for, for, for that session. And, and with the score from the phase two and phase three, we will have an, an overall um, a score. Uh, and with the top 10 of these startups, uh, this will be the 10 uh, that, that will participate in the program. And we, and we will and we'll be benefited with the, with the program. So as a timeline, uh, you, you can see it in the in the in the application uh, guide. Uh, but uh, to 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 see the, the main dates, the the program uh, the call deadline is uh, for the twenty uh, first of April. Uh, then we will have if you are selected uh, the live pitch by the by the end of May. Uh, in case your your startup is not selected you will you will have a, a letter from us uh, and then uh, by, by the beginning of june uh, we will we will notify the startup that that are selected and after that uh, as we benson has been saying it uh, will be the the welcoming week and then the start of the project so that is all from me Thank you very much, uh, Juan Carlos. Uh, now I would like if you stop like, sharing your screen, I will share my screen to give you a very, very short demo of uh, how to apply. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. So here's the EIT Urban Mobility website. Um, you can find this page about the UAM Plaza Accelerator Program through Impact Ventures accelerator programs, urban air mobility. If you click there, you'll reach this page where we explain all the details about the program with, again, the eligibility criteria. I want to clarify very quickly, when we say EU, uh, so a, a startups funded in the European Union or associated countries, you will find here a link to a document from the European Commission stating which countries are those associated to the EU or European Commission uh, funded programs. Uh, so for example, uh, countries like Turkey, Israel, Albania, those countries, the UK, Morocco, those countries are in this list of associated countries. So if your startup is from one of those countries, you are, are also eligible for this program. All right, so you will see the apply now button here on, on the top right. And I'm gonna show you very quickly what it looks like. You will reach this page then with the different programs that uh, EIT Urban Mobility is promoting uh, with the deadline for this program specifically. And here on the bottom, you will see a register form. So you will have to register in this platform. I'm going to do it very, very quickly for you to see. You can also connect to your Google account here on the bottom, Google, LinkedIn, or Facebook account. I'm gonna password that is here. And then you have to check this uh, box with the privacy policy. Once you click register, 
you will receive an email to confirm your account. Uh, it's very important that you check your spam folder. Sometimes it falls in there. So I'm just going to quickly confirm through that email. You have a link in that email to confirm your account that will lead you again to this page. And now if I refresh, I should have it here. Perfect. So you see now I see this button, start application. So if I click on it, this step is very, very important. In category, you will have to select UIM plus accelerator, because here you are seeing all the accelerators that the EIT Urban Mobility has in place. It's very important that you select this last one, UIM plus accelerator 2022. Again, you have here more information, and then you just name your application, confirm to meet the requirements for the eligibility check, accept the privacy policy, and when you click Save and Next, you will go to all these different uh, sections where you have to fill the information about your startup and that's it for the for the demo so let me just go back to presentation what we will do now is say hi to to our startups invited uh to the session they participated uh in the uam plus accelerator last week share this We have today with us uh, Aldora Tech, H H2 Drone Energy, and Patio Dumont. Uh, so by strict alphabetical order of the organization, let's start with uh, Eduardo Gomez, uh, CEO and co-founder of Aldora Tech. Uh, can you please introduce yourself and your startup briefly? Yes. Hello. Nice to nice to having me here. I'm Edu Gomez, CEO and co-founder of Aldora Tech, uh, a drone delivery a drone delivery startup that is currently working in Spain, starting operations by the end of 2023. Uh, we are working with the healthcare ecosystem and also with the major postal company here in Spain. Thank you very much and thank you for being here. Next, we have Antonio Gonzalez uh, from H2 Drone Energy. Can you please introduce yourself and your startup? Hi, good morning. I'm Antonio Gonzalez from H2 Drone Energy. And well, uh, our, we are a company startup a based, technological based, that we are designing the complex system for the electrical power generation, uh, focus in, in hydrogen, in full cell, and uh, focus in the market of the, of the drones. And we design the complex system of the motor propulsion of the of the drones. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you very much for joining as well. And last, we have the participation from Patrice Rosier. Hello, my name is Patrice Rosier. So I'm founder of Reflet du Monde Company. It's a company based in France, uh, near Bordeaux. And uh, so we are we accompany our customers in the use of drones. Uh, so with training, uh, so drone pilot training, uh, we perform missions with our drones. We sell drones and we also um, uh, design drones. Uh, and so we have an important project uh, in these uh, four activities, uh, consisting in uh, in designing drones for transport. And uh, so you have a picture of uh, one of our drones, and uh, we are keep on developing uh, uh, bigger and bigger drones to, to transport loads. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thanks. So now what, I, what we're going to do is we're going to have a round table where I'm going to throw a few questions to our startups that will be of much interest to our audience, I'm sure. So first, I want to I wanna start by asking you, at which point was your startup when you applied for the program? What were you needing the most? What were you looking for? And what made you decide to join the program? Um, Edu, please, you can start first. Sure. Well, when we joined the program, we already had uh, a TRL6 drone delivery technology. And we were looking for connections within the UIM European ecosystem. 
that could bring us to the next level regarding business opportunities or partnerships. We found different motivated startups with different approaches and was quite interesting to exchange on points of view with them. Very good. <clears throat> yeah, from my point of view, what, uh, when we start to the program, we have a minimum viable product. That means that we have technically designed the complete engineering system. But uh, as Eduard, we are looking for be a part of a European ecosystem. And also to know what is the perception of the market at the European level, because well, at, at present we have a, a view only from the Spanish, uh, from the Spanish manufacturer of drones, and we would like to introduce the in the market in the in the European and to know what is the the the, the acceptation of, of our system, and mainly also to to be part of the ecosystem. Excellent. Yes, so on our side, when we started the program, uh, we were already um, working in mainly in agriculture. Uh, and so in agriculture, we need to, to carry on, uh, uh, to, to carry big loads. And uh, we started from this prototype to extend the applications for transport. And so uh, we have only proof of concept and we wanted to go further uh, in this uh, development. And so this is why we applied uh, uh, the, the last time. Very good. It's very interesting to see that you all had uh, different reasons to, to join the program. Uh, next thing I wanted to ask you is, uh, what would you highlight from your experience during the program? What helped your startup the most? Well, from my point of view, I would remark the coaching sessions we had, going from understanding the key aspects of, of aerospace startups to the important role of the sustainability you know, uh, in, our, in our value business proposal. Yeah, well, for me, I think that uh, as probably what you are uh, thinking of working in technology, why focus in technology? And we are no focus the point on the market. So for us, it was very, very interesting the how to reflect in order to, to redefine your product or much better to redefine uh, your qualification in order to go to another to another market. For for me, it was the, the coaching uh, in this sense so for me was useful because well. You are thinking only in drones and you are not thinking in both, for example, that the technology is quite similar. So the how to reflect uh, in a in a process, uh, organized process, for me was very, very useful at uh, well, this impact in my own in, 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 in the pipeline of the company in order to go to, to another market. I think for, for me it was useful it. I stop to think only in technology and I start to work in the market and open your mind in an organized, uh, organized manner in order to, to, to go the strategic, to go to the market. Very interesting. So there the business coaching had a relevant role. Very good. Uh, Patrice. Yes, on our side, we wanted to discover uh, um, in details uh, this, this market, this uh, uh, futuristic market. And so we wanted also to, to check the investment opportunities because uh, all of us need to develop uh, prototypes and uh, this first step is complicated. And so we wanted also to discover uh, uh, key interesting actors in this field. And uh, so the, the, uh, the networking was also expected uh, on our side. Very good. Thank you for, for your answers. Thank you all. Welcome. Next thing I wanted to ask you, you highlighted, you know, uh, most important outcome for, or rather than outcome, like what's up to start up the most during the program. I wanted to also know what you personally enjoyed the most of all the different activities that were part of the program, like participating in events or all the benefits you got, uh, like the 
coaching, if there's something you'll particularly remember as a positive experience mm -hmm. that you personally enjoyed the most, um, Evo, is there such thing? Yeah. Well, as I said before, the coaching sessions, having the opportunity to talk with, for example, Olivier Javier or Basilis was uh, an amazing experience. Uh, talking with people with that amount of experience and know-how of all the ecosystem, having different points of view uh, was really great. Also, having their Marwan one day that was in charge of Cesar joint undertaking uh, in that time was uh, really interesting to having more information of the Cesar 3 ongoing call, all the projects that are uh, ongoing in the in this new Cesar uh, call. So that was by my by my side the the things that I enjoyed the most. Great, Antonio. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, from a point of view, it could be similar. Uh, perhaps it's two points. One of them is uh, from Basili. Is for me is clear. I I told you before that the the to think about what what are your capacity your capacity and how to explore in the market in, in, with abstraction and within methodology for me was useful. And on the other hand. Uh, uh, also, for in in the in the in the meeting, uh, to think uh, how to go to the market in the sense of financial point of view, uh, forget to speak only about uh, technology and start to work about uh, business, about money, about profit. This is another point of view that is interesting, and I told you before, we are only thinking about technology, how to how to solve a technical problem, but not think about the financial point of view and also to the point of view of the market. In this sense, for me, it was useful the, the, the meeting on July and the, and the second and the third meeting, the personal meeting face-to-face -face with the, with the co-founder. Fantastic. Yes, yes. yes um... For us, every step of this program were interesting, uh, but uh, the final point uh, of the program was uh, the participation of uh, two trade shows in Toulouse. Uh, so it was uh, Mael and Aeromart uh, trade shows. And uh, during this, uh, these trade shows, we, we met plenty of people uh, interesting and, um, and we, we found uh, very, very interesting uh, providers for us uh, for the next steps of our program, of our project. And so uh, after these events, we, we met these people in our facilities and uh, we, we are working with them right now. So, so they are, um, um, uh, there is uh, uh, an interesting really uh, thing to um, to, to, to keep in mind for us <laughs> with this event. That's great news and leads me actually to my next question, which was, has there been any, any outcome of the program that is relevant? And you mentioned now you met this, uh, this uh, company in the event, and now you're, you're working with them. So I would like to know if uh, Aldora Tech or H2 Drone Energy had, had similar yeah. outcomes or Yes, um, one thing that we value the most is having identified uh, different key technologies that we had in the company, but we weren't valuing them uh, a lot, like a, a business itself. We, we are not just doing drone delivery, we are also manufacturing and designing our own uh, aircrafts. And we have a manufacturing process that is unique and currently because of that and other uh, events that um, went last year we are currently uh, working on the business uh, proposal in this manufacturing process and we will have uh, great news soon very good mm -hmm. well for my point of view i'd say to you before that for me what's the main point what's the the definition of the <clears throat> the
the definition of the market uh, strategy to go to the market. Uh, and also, well, as part of the alumni, uh, we create a ecosystem. And if I am working with another another partner, you like in in the in the program, in order to develop a new product, and we are working uh, in short in order to prepare a a, a a new project, a new drones to go to to the market with hydrogen, of course. That's excellent news. We're very happy to see that you you got put out from out of the program. Uh, we have five minutes left uh, till the end of the session, so I'm going to go to the questions and answers from the audience. I want to use those last five minutes for questions from you. Uh, by the way, if you scan this QR code, you can also reach the page of the program from which uh, you can apply. So I'm going to open the chat first to see if the audience left any questions. I see a question asking, the welcome week is it supported by EIT or are the costs supported by the company? Good thing you asked this because uh, one thing we haven't mentioned is we give 2,500 euros for each participating startup, and that's supposed to cover the expenses of traveling to the different uh, events that we organize as, as a program. So, yes, you will have these uh, 2,500 euros to cover the expenses of the welcome week and other events where you will. I see my colleague had some already answered. Thank you, Petsy. I don't see any more questions on the chat. Yeah, so, um, I, I just I just wanted to say something, uh, Sergey. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I, I just want to um, to highlight, not to highlight, but to insist on the fact that the program is free. As um, have I've had a lot of questions uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, do we ask share on equity as other pro, uh, as other programs are used to doing it? But we don't do this. Um, the program is completely free, and um, we mean we want to have you know um, the most um, applicant the, the the most applicant uh, as possible. Uh, well, the more applicant as possible. Uh, so yeah, the program is completely free. So we we expect a lot of uh, startups. You know. Um, until uh, April 21st. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, I see. Oh, sure. uh, uh, how is ten from Raul? Could it be? Yeah. Raul, go ahead. Uh, yes, basically to complement what <clears throat> with Benson just said, uh, we do not ask uh, for any equity. Uh, and basically, we offer also the program as a an opportunity to get your startup recommended for investment to our uh, investment activities, basically. Uh, meaning that by the end of the program, uh, we request the uh, consortium, the, the partners managing the consortium to provide us with uh, four names within the cohort of selected startups. Of course, that will have a very good understanding of the progress made by the startups during the program. Uh, that will know the team. And uh, we welcome this uh, information to you know, in case that the startup is fundraising or has a fundraising path in the following months to invite them to apply to our investment call. So yeah, that's the link that we have with our investments and the program is completely for free. Yeah. Thank you very much, Raul, for that clarification. I don't see any more questions. Uh, those people in the audience, you can also reach, uh, raise your hand and I can give you permission to speak if you would yeah. like to any question yep. and and by the way as um, um uh, the viewers will see our email do not hesitate to contact uh, any any of us you know for more for additional information and we are completely available to to give you information um if need be yeah. mm -hmm. all right mm. then since I don't see any questions from the audience, uh, let's wrap up uh, this session. I want to sincerely thank each one of you for having joined today. Um, I hope this was a valuable experience, a valuable session for you. And I encourage you, uh, all of all of the startups in the audience, I encourage you to, to apply for the program if you're eligible. Thank you very much and have a great day, all of you.